Clara Seed. I'm with Business School Diploma in Tourism and Resort Management. So this is my eighth year with Singapore Poly and with DTRM. And before a poly lecturer, I was in hotel and my major is in sales and marketing. Why a polytechnic lecturer? Probably two things that come about in my life. The first thing is that I would like to spend more time with my parents and my in-laws. And another thing probably is my encounter with Japanese students. And I had a conversation with one of the Japanese professor and I find that his life was quite interesting being a lecturer or a professor. We have our name. We have a branding, hence I thought that it will be nice for me to work at Singapore Poly. I think some of the worst periods is probably at the beginning of the term because all of us are starting and getting used to modules, getting used to new students, getting used to new timetable. And towards the end of the term, students will be submitting projects. We are doing grading the projects, test, exam, and we have very, very short deadline. Probably will start with morning breakfast at the school canteen. So that's how my day starts. And when I'll be in the office by 8, 8 ish after breakfast. And if and sometimes I have to do night classes where we have to do adult part-time diplomas. So if I have to do night classes, my day will start from 8 all the way until 9:30 at night. I was told that some of the perceptions that they had is that poly lecturers have four holidays in a year yes we do have four holidays in a year but within that four holidays we have to do a lot of lesson preparation for the new term um, we also be conducting workshops to corporate companies so we don't really have our holidays um, and if we don't conduct lectures because night is currently flip, we have to do other things but before that the preparation for the flip video takes a lot of time too Flip classroom will take longer than a normal physical lecture so it's not as easy as what students will think it is there's a lot of preparation before we enter a class and even mental preparation because different students we need to adapt to different needs I think I can have work life and personal life balance as a poly lecturer because I'm able to handle better time management. I'm very, very, very active in my social media. So probably one of the things that I like to see is when my students and hence alumni accomplishing um, achievements in life. But also some of the benefits gained is that I also learn from them because being in school, I haven't been in the corporate world for a long time. So sometimes I will hear what they are doing in the corporate world for me to teach my students, my current students. So actually I gain knowledge from the alumni rather than they gain knowledge from me. So that's how I exchange our knowledge. Because um, Polytechnic is supposed to be Institute of Higher Learning and Polytechnic for all, not only for um, tertiary, not only for teenager students, now we are also doing for working adults or so. So some certain days we do have to do um, corporate workshops where we will have classes with companies teaching them probably on emotional intelligence for myself from myself and sometimes I have to do night classes where we have to do adult part-time diplomas actually I do think that teachers life is difficult you have to do a lot of lesson preparation you have a lot of meetings you have a lot of marking and you also have to handle CCA but the Japanese professor that I met said that tertiary students we are we are prepping them to be work and corporate world ready. Hence, I actually have two different perceptions of what a teacher life um, is going to be for me when I enter the teacher's world.